Welcome back to my YouTube video channel. You guys um, just want to show you a very interesting case. This patient came to my office and complaining that he has pain under this uh, bridge to molar from number 17 to 19. This tube number 18, 19 on the x ray um, doesn't show much of the radio lucency. However, I, when I measure the uh, for occasion uh, grading, uh, he got like class two for occasion involvement with the uh, explorer that it can poke all the way quite through um, the other side uh, of the bone um, from buckle to lingo. And so um, the pain that he described is hurt every day. When I check the gum, um, uh, seem to be um, only located in one uh, particular buckle for case in area. Uh, so um, I was thinking it could be just a localized uh, periodontal disease. Uh, but so I, I told him that um, if, if it's periodontal disease, I would try to flap open and clean out the granulation tissue and calculus. And then I would try to graft the area for him. Um, so that's what I was initially thinking to do, but I also told him that during this procedure, when I open it up, if I see there any root fracture, I would immediately recommend him to remove the tube. So right now I flap it out. It, uh, so far I don't see anything. Uh, so what I would do is remove all the granulation tissue with the curette um, at the percussion area. And uh, it seemed to me like how the uh, previous dentist placed the crown uh, sub, uh, uh, gingival margin. Uh, this can cause a violation of biological width and, and causing the bone loss. I see that there is more distal bone loss compared to the mesial bone, bone loss. And then you can see that, uh, yeah, the margin is just a uh, little overhang and sort of below the gum area. So I'm continue just trying to remove everything that's considered um, preventing from uh, the new attachment. So that's what my hope in. I'm going to um, show you the interesting uh, decision that I make after the clean everything up. And uh, so I will continue to clean up and hope for uh, to uh, disinfect this tube really well and ready for the grafting I was repairing a, a particular bone graft ready for her, for his case. Uh, so everything seemed to be right on the dry track. I can see that uh, the bone loss is somehow right at the frication point and he also had the uh, architecture of the alveolar bone seemed to be uh, diminished more on the distal root compared to mesial root. Very interesting. Right now, I'm trying to use the curette to just basically level out the uh, the uh, uh, rough edge of the buckle area where the bone affecation of the bone is being rem being defect and being causing bacteria invasive into that affecation area. So I'm continuing releasing. As you can see, how I release, I start from the distal aspect of the number nineteen and just. Uh, moving uh, measly. Uh, I'm trying to be as minimally invasive as possible. I could have released the measle aspect as well, but I don't think it's a good idea if we're trying to graph the area and be more predictable with the primary cause. Then I would try to release only one side. So that's that's a trick or the how we can uh, decide if uh, okay, flat or uh -huh. open. So now I use the carry-on and continue to clean again to um, make sure that everything uh, is well repaired before the bone graft period. Even though it's very simple to access and go in, uh, you know, the, the, but when you want to really make the side for uh, uh, readiness for bone graft, you have to clean really well. I'm using the carriage on the go under the root part, the uh, casing part as well.
And they don't want to see what I don't know there. But uh, during this procedure, I was wearing the uh, three uh, uh, time magnification to clean. So this is the phone that we use to record it. It may not be very clear. But as you can see now, I have very nice uh, side with the defect alveolar bone right there and the casing right there. So I try to go as deep as possible to remove any calcus powder. So I don't see anything. It's actually the patient who was uh, is a good uh, dental hygiene patient. He he maintained very well. And so I'm keep looking at that area again and again, making sure that how I'm gonna. Uh, and if I'm able to clean everything, I should be able to graft you know, this area with bone graft and get the primary closer and hopefully um, put the membrane in uh, as well to prevent the epithelium layer. But did you know what happened? I found out that on the meso aspect of the vertical root, there is a vertical fracture. So actually the decision I had to do in this particular case is I had to remove the two. And so that was the disease and they changed the court treatment plan instead of uh, saving the tube, instead of uh, uh, recommending the bone graft, I decided to remove the tube because of the um, vertical fracture of the root. Uh, uh, number 19, done meso, it's actually sneaking behind. I couldn't see it, but because uh, I'm, I put the mirror and I reflect mirror I'm able to see it so you can see what I'm talking about the vertical fracture line from the margin of the tube of the root, root meso root all the way down to uh, to this root this is the reason why there is a leaking there is the crowd of the vocation involved and as well as the chronic pain that the patient experienced for the past uh, several weeks so I think the decision to remove is a proper decision. I want to just make sure you understand that this procedure was supposed to be the exp exploratory uh, surgical approach, open to and clean and see whether it uh, can be saved or it can be graft, uh, saved with grafting or remove if it uh, vertical fracture. And the only way to determine the vertical fracture is when you open the flap and determine whether there's a crack that you can visibly see. In this case, I did visibly see the meso uh, vertical fracture on the meso root of this tooth number 19, so it had to be removed. I want to thank you for those people who pay attention to this presentation. I hope you have a great day. And if you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next video. Bye-bye.